Welcome to another video about operations on the Wiggle Creek River. This video highlights track routing changes made to the layout earlier this year. These changes enhance operations on the Willow Creek, so I thought I'd provide a brief update. You'll see these new track routes in all future operations videos. If you viewed the video about the Spokane Staging Yard, you'll know that it introduced a new junction on the railroad, the Spokane Junction, shown here. The route through the tunnel accesses the Spokane Staging Yard. The addition of Spokane Junction created a critical decision point for train operators at Glacier Valley, namely which route to take through the tunnel to get to or from Bucky's Crossing. Remember that the Riverport town of Bucky's Crossing is located within a reversing loop on the layout. By design, trains to or from Spokane were supposed to take the left-hand track through the tunnel, and trains to or from Waverly the right-hand track. But the pair of turnouts at Glacier Valley frequently resulted in operators taking the wrong route to Bucky's Crossing, which caused all sorts of logistical problems for the yardmaster at Bucky's Crossing and for the dispatcher. Then along came the Berry Solution, named after a friend and fellow modeler who proposed a solution to this problem. The track routing solution involved three changes. The turnout at Spokane Junction was removed to create a dedicated route to or from the staging yard, and a new turnout was installed at Kynite Rock, thus creating a new junction, called Willow Creek Junction, for the double tracks to or from Waverly. And finally, controls for the two turnouts at Glacier Valley were changed to create what I call a controlled crossing. The turnouts no longer operate independently from each other. Lights on the new fascia panel identify the selected route through Glacier Valley. New dwarf signals on the tracks leading to Glacier Valley also identify the selected route. Now, there are only two possible routes through Glacier Valley, a dedicated route to and from Spokane and a dedicated route to and from Waverly. Operators can no longer take the wrong route into or out of Bucky's Crossing. Trains coming from Spokane must still stop at the signal at Glacier Valley and then contact the yardmaster at Bucky's Crossing to obtain permission to proceed. Trains may proceed when the tall dwarf signal shows a green aspect, which is controlled by the yardmaster. Likewise, trains coming from Waverly must also stop and obtain permission to proceed into Bucky's Crossing, but they now stop at Willow Creek Junction. A separately controlled tall dwarf signal indicates when these trains have permission to proceed. The changes made to the layout were fairly simple but they have definitely enhanced operations on the Willow Creek. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief update about track routing changes made to the layout. And as always, thank you for visiting the Willow Creek Railroad.